Nitro 5 2022 brings the biggest design changes ever in the Nitro series, along with the latest Intel 12th gen and Ryzen 6000 CPUs and all these new features. Let's quickly look at the most important upgrades you should know about the Nitro 5 2022. First is the forward hinge design. Same as Alienware or Legion laptop, this design is more durable and convenient, allowing for better port distribution. So now you get ports on all three sides of the laptop and it's awesome. See, you get the HDMI and Type-C port on the back side which makes it really practical. Since you can connect external displays via both these ports, it makes for a really clean looking setup like this. How convenient is that? On the right, you get two Type-A ports. On the left, you get an Ethernet, Type-A and audio jack. The Intel models will offer Thunderbolt 4 via the Type-C port, while AMD brings USB 4, which is literally Thunderbolt for AMD laptops, via Type-C port. But it'll be available on a few select models, not all, as this Ryzen 5 model doesn't mention USB 4 or this Ryzen 7 model, despite the press release saying, AMD powered model includes USB 4. Thermal design has been improved with an extra air intake vent above the keyboard, making it a dual intake quad exhaust design compared to last year's single intake quad exhaust design. Owing to this improved thermal design, GPU options now range from the more powerful 95W RTX 3050 all the way up to a 150W RTX 3070 Ti. That's really amazing because last year's base model had an RTX 3050 with only 75W TGP. But Unlike the upcoming tough laptops, there's no confirmation about the MUX switch. The 2022 Nitro 5 will feature both the latest Intel 12th gen and the Ryzen 6000 CPUs. While both platforms bring DDR5 and PCIe Gen 4 support, things will still be a little complicated. Like with the Intel versions, you'll get two Gen 4 M.2 slots and support for only DDR4 memory. While with the AMD version, you get only one Gen 4 M.2 slot, other ones Gen 3 and DDR5 memory support only. As Zen 3 Plus was built ex <coughs> as Zen 3 Plus was built exclusively for DDR5, AMD versions will cost more due to the expensive DDR5 memory, which is probably the reason Acer stuck with DDR4 on 12th gen parts in spite of Alder Lake supporting both DDR4 and DDR5. You do get the extra hard drive slot just like last year, and with that comes the same 57.5 watt hour battery due to space constraints. However, the battery life will be better, hopefully, due to improved efficiency of these latest gen CPUs. There will be 15 and 17 inch versions of these laptops with display options ranging from the top tier 3 milliseconds QHD 165Hz panel with full sRGB coverage down to the more average 1080p displays with either 144Hz or 165Hz panels for cheaper models. And apparently, the top tier Intel models with 3070Ti can be specced up with this 3 millisecond QHD 165Hz panel, while the top tier AMD models with 3070Ti could either be specced with a 1080p 144Hz panel or a 1440p 165Hz panel with both offering FreeSync support. But I'm just speculating, don't listen to me. The things that do not change this year are your grades <laughs> along with the keyboard and trackpad. They remain the same as there was nothing wrong with them to begin with. Depending on the model, you can get either a one with 4 zone RGB or a single red backlight option. Nitro 5 2022 will still offer the same Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for connectivity and not Wi-Fi 6e. Deal with it. Now one thing I find worth mentioning is, although Acer says these laptops would feature up to 165Hz QHD display, 12th gen Alder Lake and Ryzen 6000 CPUs and up to RDX 3070 Ti graphics, to all that Acer UK's video says fuck you and mentions displays up to 360Hz, GPUs up to RTX 3080 and doesn't give two fucks about Ryzen 6000 series. Clearly there's a lot of confusion and instead of putting out real information, Acer was industrious enough to release three videos which all by the way spit in each other's face. Like this Thunderbolt 4 port being shown in the Ryzen 6000 version video. However, I have based this video on credible information directly from Acer or other reputable sources. Sources. Links will be in the description for you guys. According to press release, we can easily calculate the probable Indian pricing. And about availability, I couldn't find anything remotely credible other than a bunch of people just shooting in the dark. So my guess is just as good as theirs. That's it.